What's up YouTube, this is your man, Big B Production 100. In tonight's video, I just wanted to go over some cool things inside OS X Mavericks. Now, just to show you this is OS X Mavericks, I'm gonna go to my Apple symbol here, and we're gonna go to About This Mac. And you'll see this is version 10.9, Developer Preview 8. So, let's jump into it. Uh, I guess we can start by going inside Safari. Now, if you look up here to the left hand side, you'll notice that you no longer have your reading glasses icon. At first, inside Mountain Lion, we had a reading glasses icon. Now we just have the bookmarks icon, which is pretty cool. That's cool, I guess. So if you click here, you'll see that you have all your bookmarks, uh, your reading lists, and everything. Shared links. Shared links are the links that you can share as far as with your Twitter updates and everything. So that's pretty cool. Go back to reading glasses, well, shall I say bookmarks. What I like about this is if you right click, you can rename your bookmark and you can drag it around however you like and position it. So if you want to have YouTube at the top, Apple, I like to keep Apple at the top, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I have noticed Safari is a lot faster inside Mavericks, but this is still just the developer preview. So I would take it that when the final release come out, which is the Gold Masters release, it would be even more faster. So now if you look here closely inside top sites, you no longer have the little edit icon to the left hand side like you had in Mountain Lion. Now you can just hover over the web page itself and just delete it like so. So I think that's pretty cool. You know, we used to have to click the little edit icon. Now we can just delete the websites that we don't want to keep inside of top sites anymore. So that's cool. We're gonna close down Safari here. Oh, yeah, and of course, we still have the tabs, so that's pretty cool. Another thing I like about Mountain Lion is I have the dual monitor set up here, so you can't see it, but now when you go in full screen mode, it doesn't affect the second monitor. Everything you do inside your first monitor stays inside this monitor, so that's cool. I love that, and a lot of people may wonder what happened to your bar at the bottom, but only thing you have to do in order to get your dock back you just take your mouse and just drag it down to the bottom of the screen same thing for your secondary monitor if you was to go in full screen mode with your secondary monitor so let's just say if I had Photoshop open in this window and I open up Lightroom in my secondary monitor I can take them both in full screen mode and if you take your mouse over to the second monitor your dock would stay on the first monitor and in order to get your dock to the second monitor, you just drag it down to the bottom of the screen and your dock will then pop up on that second monitor. So that's pretty cool. I like that as well. We're going to close down Safari. Now we're going to open up iBooks. Now inside iBooks, you'll notice I have a lot of books inside here. And these are my Mac books. Going back to Snow Leopard and Lion and Mountain Lion and everything. I like to read a lot of books, so I like to download a lot of PDF documents. And now I can just throw them inside my iBooks here. And um, so let's just say if you wanted to create a new collection, you can just click the plus icon and name it whatever you like. So for all you gamers out there, you can just name it Games. And once you're done, hit Enter. And then you would just take all of your PDF documents or your games or whatever it is you have and just drag them inside here to your collection. So that's cool and this is iBooks, categories and authors and everything and lists. So that's cool, we're gonna close that down. I've seen a lot of videos already online about maps so I'm not gonna do maps in this video and maps is pretty self-explanatory. So with that being said, we're gonna go inside Finder. Let's check out Finder and if you look here to the left hand side, OS 10 Time Machine is now backing up Mavericks, so I'm just going to let that do its thing. We now have tags. Tags is cool. So let's just say if you're a photographer like myself, we're going to go to pictures. This is what I like about tags. So if you had tags or, you know, for your pictures or whatever it is you wanted to create a tag for, you can now just take it and right click and you can just add a tag to it. So you can add a tag and I can name this uh, black and white, black and white. And now I can add a color to it as well. So I will just click on create new tag, black and white. And then if I go down to show all, I can add a color. So since this is black and white, 
I guess the color for this tag would be white. That would be named as work. So once I'm done, I would just then hit enter. And now that tag has been added to that photo. So if you look over here to the left hand side, you'll notice on the tags, I now have black and white. So if I had a bunch of photos that I went out and shot, let's just say an HDR black and white downtown Chicago. When I come home and after I edit my photos inside Lightroom, I can then add my tags. So it will then be a lot easier to find on my Mac when I'm trying to search through like, let's just say two or 3,000 photos that I shot from like 2011 on up into today's date. So that's pretty cool with tags. So now I'm just gonna delete that tag like so. And just in case if you was wondering, when you delete the tag, it do not affect the picture. So your picture stays inside your folder, inside Finder, and it's not you know, affected by anything you do on the left hand side. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what else did I want to go in this video? Uh, yeah, but they added tabs for us. We was waiting on that for quite some time now. And now we have it. So that's pretty cool. We just want to close it out. Uh, okay, and that was Finder. I have noticed when you look over at Notification Center now, it's more of a smooth background. We no longer have the stitching like you had in OS 10 Mountain Lion, so they changed that as well. That's pretty cool. And uh, other than that, um, they say it's over 200 new features, which I'm not gonna be going over in this video. I'm still playing around with it myself. Like I said, it's just a developer preview, but uh, it is a lot faster. I have noticed that, and hopefully we will enjoy it when they come out with the Gold Masters release sometime this month, so. This is your man, Big B Productions 100. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this short video, which I hope you did. I would really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. Mahalo, you.